Hello everyone, my name is Josh and I'm an award-winning video editor that reacts to music videos, movie clips, and more, and today we're digging into Harry Styles' Treat People With Kindness. I'm so excited for this one. All I know is that it's directed by Ben and Gabe Turner, who are the same ones that directed Golden, uh, and that's my jam. So, hey, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, God. Oh my God, my freaking audio on here was blasted all the way up. That was some ear damage. I hope I can hear the rest of the song. Well, I'm getting like a queen vibe to this. This is awesome. Oh, hey, isn't that uh, Phoebe from, from uh, Fleabag and Solo, A Star Wars Story? Oh, actually, I just saw this. Uh, from just the camera moving and everything, I'm seeing that this is most likely a green screen or some kind of image that they put up of, of New York City. Uh, you can just definitely tell that's 100% that's fake, but I am loving the black and white look, and I am also loving the contrasting colors to this. I say colors. I mean, I guess black and white are colors, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm loving the contrast. He's wearing black, she's wearing white, the white walls, the black cabinets. Uh, it's giving an awesome black and white look. I, I love it. Oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. So right here we have just a uh, really simple uh, since it's black and white, it's a little bit more simple to do this, but since uh, there's a, just a solid line on the ground that they're bringing that camera down and matching it with a crane shot in the next shot, uh, so they're matching the camera movements and it's just a simple mask that's going across the ground here, uh, and it's it's looking pretty freaking sweet. We can treat people with kindness, find a place to do good. I got a good feeling. Oh man, I already know this is gonna... I've got a good feeling that this is a jam. That's what I have a good feeling about, Harry. I'm just taking it all and floating up and dream. Ooh, hey, that shot was pretty freaking cool. So right here, the reason why they did that is they want to give that lens flare look. Uh, I believe I saw it. There it is. There you are, right there. Um, I love, love shots that start off at, at like, shining with a light in it and then moving away from the light so we can just see that awesome lens flare and then also aiming back towards the subject after that. That's really cool. Up and okay, so one thing I would have actually added to this is some kind of vignette. That would have looked really cool. We see a little bit of thing, a little bit of vignette right here, but I think that's just a natural one from from just this angle, but something I definitely would have added was just the ever so slightest vignette uh, to just kind of, I don't know, give it even more of like an old timey feel-ish. Um, of course, not too much at all, but um, this, because with black and white, you just gotta be really careful with that. But I think that that would have looked really, really cool here. And I love, love the, the choreography in this. This was choreographed by uh, Paul Roberts. He's uh, famous, famous uh, for his work. I mean, he has done, you know, freaking Spice Girls. Uh, he actually worked with One Direction for, I think I read for like five years. Uh, so that's probably where Harry uh, like found him and everything and, and worked with, started working with him. Drop him. Hold on. Yeah, uh, that that girl over here with a tambourine um, is not doing anything. Uh, <laughs> she's just kind of dancing. Hey, she's still in a Harry Styles video. I love how he's flying up while he's singing higher. That's amazing. <laughs> This set piece is so much fun. Oh my gosh. Baby, 
That looks like it was done on a gimbal because we're going down the stairs with her. Uh, and so, and there's absolutely no bump at all. And again, with these contrasting colors, it looks freaking awesome. Hey, this looks like it was uh, done with a multicam, or mul uh, <laughs> done with a multicam. This was done with multiple cameras. Either they spent a massive amount of time just perfectly matching the movements of what was done in the last shot and they knew where to cut, which almost, I believe that is impossible. It's perfect, which means probably filmed with multiple cameras. They just have a really, really good shot and they're just, the editor is able to just switch in between the two with ease, actually. There's a pretty easy way to do that, at least in Premiere, um, to be able to switch between two cameras because right here, that match with his movements, you, you can see it just right here. It's near perfect. Yeah. I do too, Harry. I do too. Holy crap. <laughs> I did not see those guys there. I thought he was falling off the stage. <laughs> Wait, did it actually, didn't he do that in the past or something? Oh, that is, that's great. I gotta, I gotta go back and see that. Okay, well now I see them. <laughs> and this crane shot right here, uh, this, t this top down view, is just absolutely amazing. This shot right here in particular is a great transition shot. So we are seeing him the whole first half of the music video, he's on stage dancing. So we have that setting. So now we have this completely abstract shot that is quite different than all the other shots that we've seen, just to distinctly show he is moving from the stage to the tables. Uh, to, I'm, I'm guessing, yeah, go on top of them and, and do whatever he's going to do. But uh, this is a great way to show it. And they had to have taken this like multiple times. The, the camera following him perfectly uh, in, in that perfect motion, that had to have taken many, many shots. Wait, hold on, did he? Yeah, that's a freaking trampoline. There's no way he... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry to pause again, but his, uh, his reaction right there, this shot in particular was actually like extremely, extremely fast. The, uh, this was literally like half a second. Phoebe, I see you. I'll be there in just one second. Uh, let me bounce on this unstable flooring. This framing right here is perfect. I love it. We have a light shining up here. That sh Would you be quiet? I know that stuff is updating. Uh, so we have a light up here. Uh, that's shining directly onto him. So he is the subject, we see him, but everything else in the background is perfectly placed. We have lights shining upward, which it's a cheerful song, so that kind of matches that. But anyway, besides that, uh, we have that there because otherwise, if we didn't have any light shining up here, uh, it's black and white, we would have lost all the detail back there. Uh, and I mean, especially right here with the, with the shadows that's already casting with light shining onto it. Um, all of this would have been very difficult to see behind him. And uh, we even have a practical light up here in the front uh, just to just give it that depth. Oh man, this, this framing is just freaking... That guy's face. And look.
look at that, we also have that same exact uh, transition shot uh, right here from the top down. We know that the, se that the setting is going to change. They're not at this table anymore. They're going to probably go back to the stage, I'm guessing. Uh, and so we have that top down angle again. They're using that same transition shot uh, style and I love it. Hey, I'm right. Holy camera angles, oh my gosh. So right here, I thought they were just dealing with two different cameras. Um, boy, am I mistaken. Uh, this was very expensive if it's more than two because I mean, this is, uh, there's been like nine different angles and all of them are matched perfectly. So they have to have more than two cameras, that's for sure. Uh, it's all at different focal lengths, different angles. They are strategically, at least uh, editing wise, they are strategically editing this in a way that's not jarring, that's just a lot of fun and a lot of things happening all at once. It's a lot of dancing, so, um, but yeah, I mean, the cool thing is, is since it's filmed with so many different angles, the editor has free reign to just uh, creatively choose which angle to, to use here, and it's, and it's awesome. song Whoa. that was impressive <laughs> more people more people it's like it's like a Broadway issue all these people coming in. Wow that was impressive. <laughs> yes, that's totally a Fleabag reference. That's amazing. Uh, unless, unless there's something else happening that uh, does it continue? I don't know. Into a different song, music video. I don't know, but I'm taking that as a Fleabag reference. If you guys haven't seen it, that show, uh, go check it out. But uh, I also want to point out Harry's face in this shot that I have framed up. That's freaking gold. All right, everyone, that was my reaction to Treat People With Kindness by Harry Styles. That was a jam. That was uh, so much fun to see. I'm so glad you guys suggested this to me. And thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. This is so much fun. I appreciate all the comments and the likes and the, and the subscriptions. You guys are really just making this channel blow up and I greatly appreciate it. And you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in.